Hi, I'm Ned, and I make games. Today I'd like to show you how to access time in shaders. What exactly is the time value in the time node? How can you access time in HLSL shaders? And what exactly can you use it for? Let's take a look. If you create a time node in the shader graph, you'll see it has several outputs. You can kind of understand what each contains intuitively, but what exactly is the time value? Is it in seconds? When does the count start? I took a deep dive through the Universal Render Pipeline source code to find out. Looking at the shader graph documentation, we can see that these values are set from various shader variables. They're all defined in the Universal Render Pipeline core script and set in the scriptable renderer script. Here, we can see how each shader variable is filled. But the nebulous time value is still passed in from another function, along with the delta time and smooth delta time. Moving up the call stack, we can finally see just what time is, the time.time .time variable that we're used to using in C-sharp scripts. As a refresher, this is the time in seconds since the game first loaded, as calculated at the beginning of this frame. There is one wrinkle though. If we're running in the editor and not in play mode, just set the time as a version that ignores any time scaling. Similarly, delta time is set to the time.delta time, which is the time the last frame took to run. Smooth delta time is an average delta time over the last few frames. So, from all this, we can see exactly what each output from the time node will give us. When working in HLSL, you can use all those shader variables that we saw before. Just remember to include the Universal Render Pipeline shader library unityinput.hlsl file. Although you have all these variables to choose from, you really only have access to the same values as in Shader Graph. They just have various different forms. Here's a cheat sheet of each variable and what's inside. Okay, so how exactly can we use time in shaders? The most common use is animating. This graph rotates a mesh around its origin, also moving it up and down. It multiplies time by a frequency property to control animation speed, and also by 2pi to transform it into a rotation angle. Animating in shaders this way might improve your game's performance. Moving simple animation logic to the GPU frees up the CPU to work on AI, pathfinding, or other intensive algorithms. Experiment with it to see what's best for your game. Alright, so this method is great for looping animations, but what if you need a transition animation to play on, say, when an object spawns? This shader fades in a mesh using noise and a dither effect to achieve that. Unlike in C-sharp, where you might use delta time to advance an animation timer, in shaders it's much easier to use the current time subtracted by a start time property. To start the timer, use a C-sharp script to set the start time property on the object's material. Whenever you do this, be sure to set the property's reference name in the shader graph. I made a more in-depth tutorial all about this if you'd like to see more. If your game has a pause function, it's really easy to get these shader effects to pause as well. In a C-sharp script, set the time scale to zero when pause is active. This freezes the time counter, as well as freezing any shaders that depend on it. And with that, we're done with time in shaders. Animating in shaders is a useful and powerful technique, and time is its foundation. I hope this video helps you to use it well. I'd love to see what you do with it. I'd like to thank all my patrons for helping make this video possible, and give a big shout out to David Crew, my next gen patron. Thank you all so much. If you'd like to download all the files I used to make this video, consider joining my Patreon. But if you don't want to, that's okay. I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video though, it really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like more weekly game development tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and make games.